and maximum security cuts the corner and opens up. Maximum security, less than a quarter of a mile to go, and he's six on top. Second is Bodie Express. He's running a huge race down at the inside in Code of Honor. Head and scroll at a one pace bourbon war on the outside, but maximum security proves he's the real deal with a gate to wire win in the Florida Derby. All right, let's get started with why I don't think Maximum Security is going to win the Kentucky Derby. If you're not familiar with Maximum Security, he won the Florida Derby. And going into the Kentucky Derby this year, he is going to be the only undefeated horse. So right there, that's a reason why you can say he's not going to win the Derby. Because undefeated horses tend not to do well in the Kentucky Derby. Now, there was the streak between 1977 and 2004 where no horse that was undefeated won the Kentucky Derby. But I'm not going to use that because that's a lame reason why. What I am going to say, though, is Maximum Security's running style is not very conducive to winning the Kentucky Derby. Think about it. He's a front runner, and he was able to win the Florida Derby because no one challenged him. He comes into the stretch. He's run three quarters in 112. The two horses that are coming behind horses in that race, Honor Code and Bourbon War, they're done. They had no chance to get into him. They had absolutely no pace to run into. But see, you don't get that type of trip in the Kentucky Derby. And really, the reason why I don't think Maximum Security is going to win is because I don't think he's going to get a favorable trip. You need, if you're a horse like that, if you want to win, you need to have an uncontested early lead. And it's been shown in the past with winning colors, War Emblem, whoever else has won the Kentucky Derby, Wire to Wire, Spend a Buck too, was blanking on Wire to Wire Derby winners for a moment. Whoever gets an uncontested early lead usually wins the race. And guys have learned over the years not to give these front-running horses early, easy leads in the Kentucky Derby, which maximum security, more likely than not, is not going to get. Now, there was another thing that Jay Privman put out there, and it was the possibility of maximum security being used as a rabbit. And if you look at that more closely, it makes a lot of sense. Now, Gary and Mary West have not been strangers to being used as rabbits to other races or in the 2018 Belmont Stakes case, being used as an offensive lineman. That's what Restoring Hope became in the Belmont Stakes last year, and it was very controversial. I thought it was a brilliant strategy by Bob Baffert, and I think the anger in Gary and Mary West was kind of scripted because I'm sure there was some kind of agreement between them Elliot Walden, Windstar Farm, and those people to say, hey, you do us this favor and we'll do something for you. Now, that is not confirmed. I have no sources or anything. That's just my thought. But they are the only two owners who have two horses in the Kentucky Derby this year. They've got Game Winner and they've got Maximum Security. And they've been in the business for a while. And this is the one thing that they've not done. They have not won a Triple Crown race. They've won Breeders' Cup races. They've won other big races. They just have not won the Kentucky Derby. And I'm sure that they want to win the Kentucky Derby as much as anyone else does. And so there's a possibility they've got a front-running horse that's got a lot more speed. A lot of people were saying when Jay Privman put that thought out there, well, the Florida Derby time does not show rabbit time. That horse has more speed. He was not being pushed at all. If you push him fast, which is probably what's going to end up happening, if you get him to go 110 for three quarters, 45 for a half, or even faster than that, that's rabbit time. And I'm sure he could get that if he's being pushed. So I have no way to confirm the possibility of him being used as a rabbit, but that's something you always have to look into because that his running style is perfect for a rabbit. Now, there's no guarantee that he's going to do that. Gary and Mary West must also think, well, we want to give ourselves two horses that are both trying to win and not one horse that's sacrificing his chance for the other to win. It's just something that you have to look into. So really, to sum it all up, with maximum security, I think the possibility of him being used as a rabbit and the fact that his running style is just not conducive to Kentucky Derby winners. I, I shouldn't say that. There have been plenty of wire-to-wire winners, but... More often than not, you're not going to get an uncontested early lead, which I think this year he's not going to get. So we will see what transpires in the Derby, but I think the possibility of him being used as a rabbit is something that should be considered very likely. So I will see you tomorrow with the episode for By My Standards, winner of the Louisiana Derby.